Hello everyone, my name is Al Friedrich from Alexander Work, and today I would like to talk to you a little bit about some flow properties of materials, specifically powders, and how Alexander Work can help alter the flow properties of specific powders. Quite commonly in the industry, we get calls from companies that are indicating that the material just does not flow. Alexander Work equipment can change the flow properties of that powder, not the chemical properties, only the flow properties. And what I'd like to show you today is a demonstration of how that actually occurs. So what I have here is a shovel full of material. As you can see, this material is very fine in size. It averages about maybe 200, maybe 100 microns in size roughly. Kind of looks like brown flour almost. It just does not want to flow whatsoever. You can see it has a very high angle of repose when I start tilting the shovel. The material almost has an angle of repose of about 80, 85 degrees indicating it just does not want to flow. To give you a better visualization, let me pour some of this material into the feed hopper that you see in front of me. This feed hopper has about a 75 degree angle on its sides, and once I pour the material in, I'm going to open this discharge valve on the bottom and show you the pour flow properties going into the small collection bin below. You can see the material is very fine, very dusty, and we can also assist with the dust issues that you have with this particular material. All right. The material is now in this feed hopper here. I'm going to open this discharge valve, and you can see the material just does not want to flow into my collection or sample cup below. I can tap the hopper a little bit, which starts encouraging the material to flow little by little. If I keep tapping it, it will come out eventually, Usually what has to be done is I have to somehow give this material a little bit of a push almost. Now you can see it's starting to flow. It's also really, really dusty. You can see the dust starting to form left and right as it's falling into the sample cup below. Man, that really doesn't want to flow. Nope, not, so, not whatsoever. demonstrated the material that we were given here does not have good flow properties. So what the Alexander Work machines do is they take a very, very light fluffy powder that you can see on the left hand side here, I'm calling that the feed. The light fluffy powder is compressed between two counter rotating rolls into a solid flake. No binders are used, only high hydraulic pressure in order to compress the material into the flake. The flake is then gently ground into these granules that you see on the right hand side here. If you take a look at the left versus the right, or the feed versus the granules, you can see the high angle of repose that I was talking about earlier. The material just stacks up and it does not want to flow or cascade down. Versus these granules, when I squeeze them together they fall apart into a much lower angle of repose, which indicates better flow properties for the material. Also, as you can see, this material is, for the most part, dust-free. As a final demonstration, I'm going to take some of the material which we compressed into what we call a granulate. This granulate is now in my, in my shovel, as you can see here. I'm going to pour this material into the feed hopper. As you can see already, these are nice granules that flow really well. This is the identical feed hopper, same angle, same setup as before. Now when I open the discharge valve, the material flows out very quick and it's dust free. So what we've done is we've taken the light, fluffy, very, very fine powder, <clears throat> compressed it into a flake, ground that flake up gently into a granule. Again, we haven't done anything to the material from a chemical standpoint. We've only increased the particle size in order to assist the flow properties. Again, just to review, what we've done is we've taken a very, very light, density, fluffy, fine powder, compressed it into a flake, and then gently ground it up into the free-flowing granules that you have seen. Those free-flowing granules have definitely improved the flow characteristics of the material. If you have any further interest or have any further questions, please visit our website, www.alexanderworkinc.com.